It's like uh, maybe they got time to practice a little bit before uh, they got into this tournament and uh, make it happen. Future King Anti, I feel like they've teamed uh, throughout the years. Honestly. Yeah, we, we, yeah, absolutely. And you know they have some excellent Smash Four results. You know, if you recall yeah. at PAX South, they actually won the doubles event there. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a Midwest tournament uh, that they teamed at as well too. I think they got second place. So definitely some good synergy that you guys are going to be, uh, you know, privy to see here. See how it goes. I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm definitely excited right here. Now, uh, it's interesting enough to know that, like, Anti, if if this goes bad, I mean, I, I could definitely pr pr see a, like, double Cloud coming mm -hmm. out. I don't know if he's actually going to go for it. I feel, I feel like Cloud, uh, double Cloud, even though everyone's, like, Cloud's mad good in teams, yeah. I feel like double Cloud can almost be a hindrance if uh, both the other team are good at, like, keeping them off stage. I almost feel like, to an extent, it's run its course. Like, we yeah. saw how powerful it was with the Japanese winning Genesis. But, you know, um, I haven't seen it being as dominant as of late. I think his Mario is definitely going to be... Uh, the difference maker here, if they're going to get the W. Esam and Zero, of course, always very game. It's interesting to see, you know, Zero's confidence with this cloud has really just started to develop as of late. Uh, of yeah. course, you know, winning Endgame with Ally last weekend. Ooh. Was definitely a big, big boost right there. Speaking and this could boost. just be a team thing, too. I mean, I, honestly, he's probably been trying to play it a little bit in uh, singles. Yeah. But I can definitely tell you that the way that they're playing teams right now is phenomenal with this cloud. So let's go. Oh, and just out the gate, uh, the red team pulling just a little farther ahead of the blue team right here. First kill Ooh. does go uh, indeed to the red team right there, getting rid of that cloud. But, oh, striking back. There it is, man. Jesus. Not going to allow him to build too much of a lead there. Oh, but anti. There it is. Mario Spech. I like that forward throw into up air confirming. Or, excuse me, up smash. Okay, this man is trying to, as hard as to get back on stage. Like, please. I mean, that is, you know, obviously Cloud's big hindrance right there. Is that recovery? And he's saying I'm going to make it difficult. Nice. Uh, that was kind of an interesting combo right there. I thought Mitch King was going to try to get a little more off of that. But gets himself right back on stage. And it looks like the blue team now has a beautiful sta uh, amount of stage control right here. Just kind of keeping the uh, red team separated. Both of them on the ledges right now. Hold up. Back throw. Ah. I don't know how toy thought Mario was, but that yeah. was <laughs> that was smash ain't have much of a chance. Thought he was Luigi right there, but that was smash. Like, you know, a couple of extra inches on your body right there, oh man. Oh my good, and just trading stocks for stocks here. All right, good up B right there, answering the downer from Esam, trying to put the pressure on Anti. Okay, and like this is like a, a thing that you should, should notice about teams, uh, like when you get to the higher level. Uh, even if it looks like it's a two v one, more than not, someone's gonna get punished uh, during that two v one at some point in time. But you still want to get as much damage as you can in the two v one situation before uh, the partner comes back. And like sometimes you'll put yourself in a bad position, but if it's uh, for the greater good, basically, you're good. I understand, absolutely. Yo, the edge guard, not gonna be able to get that right there. And uh, once again, Zero making it back. Yeah. Fighting from, oh, fighting his way back in from a tight spot, too. Yeah, Mutual King has definitely uh, been the brunt of a lot of these hits here on his last stock. Oh, here we go. We got double. Oh, I thought that was. I thought he was. Just I thought he was gonna go. pop it too. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I was like, you know, honestly, I'm like, since aerial limit's been uh, or aerial finish touch has been nerfed, he's probably trying to wait until like, he knows for sure it's gonna kill. Once again, looking for Mario to be about a, a good uh, three feet taller. I'm than telling he actually you, though, is. <laughs> that is Mario, not Wall Luigi. We gotta, get, <laughs> we gotta get it together, bro. Nice sneaking up under him right there, getting back on stage. Mitch can kind of hold on to this last stock as well as oh, he can, but Esam. That was so. Should be able to make it back. Yeah. Oh, that's not, so unfortunate. Nope. Yep, such good time right there from Esam. And now we see Anta having to go it alone here. Yeah, over here against three stocks too. And like, I'm talking about one full healthy stock for Pikachu. He could definitely get this. Oh, hold up. That would have been terrible. What if he caped that? Well, dude, I'll tell you the <laughs> truth, man. There, If anyone's going to make a 2v1 comeback, it is a Mario. Last week at M game, man. Um, Ally did a sensational 2v1 against uh, Doom and Mr. E. It was insane. So there's no reason to think Anti can't do the same. But, I mean, Zero and Esam, world class, and they are not going to make it easy. As you're seeing all this pressure being applied, Anti just struggling to land. Nothing going right right now. Yeah, I mean, he can't he can't really stay in the zones that he wants to uh, too often. you got the Pikachu who has that Lumen Threat of Thunder always on the land. So he has to watch himself in that back throw, yeah. even though what it was going to kill uh, definitely left him way too open and to losing that stock. I mean, in that, in that situation, you don't have a lot of options. You just gotta, kind of hope that's going to be a flub on Esam's part, and it certainly was not on point with that forward smash, and they're going to take game one. Now, I don't think he really could have hoped for that Esam possibly was too close and ended up getting hit with the swing of the back sure. throw, but because Esam, you know, being a top player and all, he knew. He was like, I'm just going to wait until that last swing's out, and then I'm going to move forward and hit you with this F smash. He so. knew. He, he knew. knew. Very well played by that team, so that's an uh, excellent way to open up these winners' finals, guys. I right, got a little, got a little cross talk right here. I feel like anytime you get cross talk, with uh, Mute King, he's literally just telling you what to do. It's never, never, yeah. nothing back. Just no fault of his. No <laughs> fault of his. Yeah, I understand I lost a lot of stocks. However, you're not protecting me. <laughs> like, like, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't keep him if you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're right. My bad. All right, guys. Game number two. Let's see where we're headed. Looking like uh, Town and City. 
Down to City is indeed the pick right here. Um, just could, should, should definitely benefit the red team right here. Um, but at the same time, you know, Pichu does have a good up smash as well. Uh, Thunders, uh, you know, he can use Thunder as a combo. Oh, get him out of here! Get him out of here! Talk about turning an awful situation into a good one. Esam applying all that pressure to Mutu King, and the Anti just coming around to swing that cape and take that stock at basically nothing. Jesus, man. Oh, yeah, that's ter a terrible start right here for the red team. And that is the kind of great team's awareness you will see at this kind of high level play. There we go. Up tilts right here against free combo uh, damage. And honestly, see, th this is where. I feel like if Mutual King was on stage right there and that was uh, anti-getting comboed, he would have ran over there. Like, Zero was very concerned, was trying to get that edge guard over there. It doesn't even get the edge guard, too, so it wasn't really that great of a trade. However, uh, you know, it's not, not going to be the end of the world if he doesn't, if he misses one or two uh, situations where he can save his partner. All right. Yeah, they're just jockeying for the stage control right now. Mewt King right there. just love that down air, man. Wow, and another cape right there. He used the up B. Got hit, but realized he didn't hit him too far away. Anti immediately with the cape uh, in his zero stock. Anti definitely been the MVP thus far. Yeah. Oh, getting caught right there. Should survive, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, gonna make it back right there. Oh, almost got the, that would have been a nice pickup right there from zero. Kind of putting some pressure on so that Esam can get back on stage. And Esam getting caught out of that jump. Good trade right there by Anti. It almost looked like he didn't have anywhere to go. Um, Anti's really just been handling uh, Esam this entire match thus far. I feel like the advice that Mewtwo King gave him was go in. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, man, you got to go in. Like, okay. You know what you do to him in singles? Yeah, do that in doubles, too. <laughs> yeah, bro, yes. Trying, right. to get, yeah, trying to get the save right there. Mud wasn't there in time, though. Here we go. We got... We have a uh, nice back air right there. We, as a, I was trying to say we have zero back on stage, but he managed to immediately put anti back on stage. See who does this. Yes. Uh, teams? No. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wow. Delayed teams. Delayed teams. Oh, wow. Uh, teams buried together on that one. So, I mean, I, yeah, really good job. Uh, really good idea also by Esam to miss himself with that thunder. So that way he knew that that spike was going to uh, finish. But right after that, uh, Mewtwo King coming through like, yo, hold up, man, you upstage. I got this spike ready for you. Mewtwo King finally relinquishing that first stock. He had held on to it so long. And this is just giving the blue team an extraordinary lead right here. All right, and Zero kind of just swinging for the fences right there. Nothing connecting. Maybe expect an ally to jump right there, or anti to jump right there, which I definitely understand, you know. Uh, he did not want to be that close to Pikachu. He was expecting an early jump, but uh, did not get that from anti. Not at all. Ooh, yeah. Fantastic trade. It's gonna keep the stage control right there. I think uh Mewtwo King is probably trying to come in there with the limit slash. There was an unfortunate trade, but that is a great trade. Gonna take care of Zero's final stock. Yeah. And now Esan finds himself in the 2v1, and he has quite, quite the mountain to climb at 101, not looking too lightly. I have to say right here, man, it was just the fact that the what uh Oh I, I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to actually <laughs> reverse the thunder on <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, you know, I like the idea. Was well, it? If he would have got the spike, we, we would have uh, all been over here, uh, you know, mind blown right now. But because he got that sour spot, good uh, good awareness by <laughs> by Esam to even know he got sour spotted right there because yeah. I wouldn't have expected that. An even better way to finish uh, off that stock for Mutual King. Ordinarily, I would have expected, you know, an up air, but Mutual King was like, he's probably expecting that. He just charge this up smash real quick, catch the air dodge, finish it off, and not us up 1 1. Excellent play. Good stuff right there. I mean, I, I have to say that stage pick definitely came in handy. And on top of that, just beautiful gameplay coming in from Anti at the very beginning, securing them a super early lead that they never dropped. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that cape right there was super. I know that that put someone on mega tilt. He was just like, wait, I, I would have been tight. I died at, I died at six. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh well. Getting into game three right here. Let's see where, they're, we, where we are going to take it. Uh, is now Esam and Zero's counter pick. Not too much cross out between them, though. I guess they just kind of Might be getting a switch oh, here. Okay. What are we thinking? Diddy Kong. Okay. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm with that. I mean, go back to what you know. As I always like to say, I mean, it's cool that your cloud has been doing so well so far. But if you uh, feel like, you know what, honestly, I need to unlock my full potential, pull that main out, man. Yeah, and it's a, it's, you know, it's a long set, dude. You know, best to, you know, this has the potential to go to a game five. You don't want anyone to get too accustomed to how you're playing a specific style. And, of course, Diddy on FD, you know, no complaints there at all. So I think this was a smart pick, and I like this counter pick as well. Also, I, f I feel like, man, Mutual King just really was uh, getting the best of zero on the little bit of changes between clouds. So uh, now he's got this chance to 
mix it up, as you said, you know, with the long game set. You have someone kind of adjusted to one of your characters, and then you switch over to your. Oh no, oh, that's, E Sam. Now that's unfortunate, but that was really. <coughs> that could have. That could have been the difference maker right there. But Man. It happens sometimes. You can't be out here. You can't be out here giving up the stocks for free, especially against these two top level players right. uh, that are anti in each game. Best thing to keep in mind: at least you still got two left. Okay, doing all that. Sailing through the air right there. Finally gets. Monkey flip on the wrong person, but he still actually got the up smash. I like that right there. Where I think he tried to jump off of him so he could leave him into the uh, ground, which set up into that up smash that was free for uh, Esam. Clean Diddy tactic right there as far as teams. They're paying off big time. And a slight lead for the red team. Oh, well, spoke a little too soon. No, I did not. Surviving that, I'm going to just pull out that banana and try and reassume some of this control. Wow. Still trying to make his way back on stage. Esam finally getting on stage right here, but Reach King keeps the pressure up. And they got zero surrounded. Nice. All right. There's Good. that punish once again, man. You, you see someone get, go for a throw or yep. anything that uh, leaves them open, get that punish. Reach King so proficient at teams. Actually, all of these guys are just amazing teams competitors. Yeah. Right now, though, I, I have to say, man, Reach King is definitely looking a lot, uh, a lot more confident right now. I would say since game one, he's absolutely picked it up. Yeah. Oh, but, oh my goodness, beach volleyball out here. Looks like we got DOA. Oh, man, <laughs> it was really good. That man get tossed. Okay, go. excellent neutral air. Gotta, gotta watch out for the limit right yeah. now. You definitely have to respect that. You know, that, that second that you are uh, not looking, uh, you do something risky and you get limited for it, die, die at like 80. Like he was looking for the damage right there. Doesn't get the full limit. Oh, off the top, though. We haven't seen that in a minute. Such a great pickup right there from Esam. Off the hit, was able to find an up smash and a thunder to, in fact, seal the stock off. That's complimenting Mewtwo King on how well he was playing, but he finds himself actually in danger, maybe? No, not quite. Still managed to make it. Oh, okay. Zero got a little fight on right there. Nice. Getting the fourth throw and then immediately throwing the F smash. Knowing the anti was probably most likely trying to come through with an aggressive option. So last stock situation for everybody right now. Oh. Sit down real quick. Definitely got this last stock situation. As I said, you know, the, the beginning right here with Esam uh, dropping that stock was a little bad for the uh, red team, but it seems like he hasn't really lost his composure ever since. In fact, he probably all. gained some composure off of losing that stock. I would say the fact you could bring it back to, you know, this close of a contest right now, definitely do some things for you. All right. King just trying to drop these dares in here. Nice spacing right there by Esam. It's kind of hard to get around that dare at times, but he managed to do it. I mean, has got to find out another way to get down. Like, I, <laughs> all I see is theirs, and they're all getting punished right now. <laughs> like, oh! Clean. I was I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Like, I, okay, and, uh, obviously, that, Anti wasn't ready for that. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think that was part of the script right there. Mewtwo getting a little overzealous with that four smash. Uh-oh. Oh, and it could uh, cost him he big lost time here. jump right here. Oh, man, still have his jump. Covering low. Nice stuff right there. Yep, so Just far enough. You use those magnet hands to get him back on stage. All right, I got the limit here. Limit versus uh, banana right now. Zero being very cautious here. Nice yep. follow up, I oh. like that, but not close enough to get the up smash. That could have been it. I'm surprised he just didn't straight up go for the limit right there. He's taking his time. Did he grab less twice? Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Pulled that trigger a little too long. Maybe expecting the roll right there. Zero not giving it to him. Got to imagine these two very well versed. Just faced off in grand finals at end game last week. It's a little bit of a run back right now, and the up tilt is enough. Clean up smack right there, man. Just out of here. Out of here. Just out of here real My quick, money man. At. <laughs> <laughs> so good stuff right there for uh, Zero, man. You know, stayed poised right there. He grabbed the ledge, I think, three times on the side. That was a little bit of a nerves, I think, there coming in from Mutual King. I mean, he could have done anything off that stage to uh, finish Zero. Uh, but, you know, he went for the limit, did not hit, and then Zero capitalized on the fact that he messed up. So, hey. Into game four here. Yes. Jeez. Set has been uh, <laughs> pretty really, nice. So far, yeah, man. really exciting already. So I have to say, man, like I have to give it up to Ethan to be uh, completely honest. The fact that he lost that stock so early uh, and still managed to win that game, like that's just signs of a top player, man. Okay. Hashtag signs of a top player. That's, that's you know tenacity right there, man. Just not giving up, uh, even when things look grim. Always realize you got a stock, you got a chance. And they certainly took it uh, the distance on that one. So. Uh, the pressure definitely on Anti and Mewtwo King right now. He won't know it, though. Anti sitting behind those shades, man. I don't, I don't know, know how he does it, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I know it shouldn't affect how you play, but, like, yeah, if, if, if I'm ever playing with shades on like that, it's just like the screen just 
just looks different. Man. I know, right? <laughs> I, I can't even like, play with my gunners anymore, man. Yeah, I couldn't play with like Rose, you know, aviators. I don't, I don't get how he does it. But I mean, you got to see the beauty in the game, Rose aviators. <laughs> anyway, get this man a sponsor, <laughs> please. <laughs> is it is it Rose though? This Rose. It's Rose, yeah, it's definitely. Are you sure? Man? Rose colored, right? Yeah. Something is rose colored. I mean, ro uh, Rose is anyway. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> in the game four right here. <laughs> We got uh, anti Music King down a game right now. Uh, you know, Zero and Esam making a beautiful uh, comeback on that last game. Now we're right back here on Smashville. Oh, oh. no, that is not a trade that you want to open up with. Some stocks are being locked. Okay, I see what anti is going for here, and uh, I appreciate the the effort because if he would have grabbed that ledge twice, that boy was about to catch the meanest uh, four air of his life. Still gonna be living that one, and Music King looking for the spike himself. Oh and my they god, are, they are playing angry right now. Just relentless right here on the left side of the stage. Finally getting back on the stage right here, but they're still keeping it up. I'm saying it. Diddy Kong, Zero with Diddy Kong has just been the recipient of all this punishment thus far. Back throw? Oh, fourth throw, actually. Okay. So you're just trying, gonna try to get him off stage. Well, that extra damage there's up smash. Seals the deal on Pikachu's first stock. See if we can get another stock right here off of uh, Zero. As you said, yeah, Zero's definitely been taking a beating right oh here and God. almost dies to that back throw. Yep, narrowly surviving right there. See if we can make something happen here. Oh, my goodness. Diddy Kong getting hurt more than Drake's feelings right now. Nothing <laughs> going right for these guys. Lord have mercy. <laughs> as, we, as we've been saying all this weekend, I mean, my man is definitely having a hard time getting back on road. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, see if he can manage to do it here, man. Get them uh, wheels turning, but it's just definitely not looking good for him. Nice stuff right there. Esam with the punish off of that back throw. But, I mean, is it, oh, is good, it enough? Good patience for Mewtwo King waiting for that spot dodge. Nice, avoiding all the thunder right there. This is all blue team all the way. It definitely is, man. Uh, three stocks to five right here. Mewtwo King sitting pretty right here on his first stock. That I mean, he can he's definitely in kill percentage, but it's only by a couple of moves right here and there. So, and on top of that, Cloud with Rage. Come on, man. Come on, man. But we saw how much that Diddy, you know, switch paid off in that last game, but it's certainly not been the case. Zero, uh, really in danger of losing this final stock. Honestly, quite early. And okay. he's the devil. Okay, he's going to survive that. Barely. Yeah, he got caught Esam dropping that shield right there uh, as well, man. Esam uh, must not be ready for that slight charge. And it should. Oh, that that could have been stuck right there. Right, That's stuck off zero, though. Share stock indeed. Definitely needs to get back in there. You don't, do not want to leave your partner uh, out here to fight this battle against five stocks by himself. Not at all. That should be a good. Yep, that'll be the confirm to get the kill. Oh, deep. Oh, okay, Esam working on anti here, but just going to up beat through all that pressure. And it really just doesn't amount to anything. The down air coming through to take Esam's final stock. And Zero just going to throw it away, not going to waste any time. That, uh, those eyes looking a little too yeah, a little yeah. too stacked. You right don't want to burn yourself out trying to just get it to a, game, a, a respectable right. game. I yeah. mean, just let it go. Exactly. Uh, you know, unnecessary frustration is, is frustration. Yeah. You know, just let it go. Yeah. Uh, game five. <laughs> first yeah. set. First set of uh, top six, I guess. Yeah, but, they opened that match angry. I'm saying they, they went in and they was like, I can't believe we, we even let this get to game five. <laughs> I can't believe we let this get to game four, basically. So let's see if they can clutch it out right here or are Zero and the ESM, uh, ESM going to, you know, get composed again and get it back in there. I mean, like, honestly, I really don't uh, know how this is going, for, uh, like how they keep bringing this back. But every time at the beginning of the game, the red team loses a stock within the first 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> And like, and then, so, but they still win somehow. Otherwise, it wouldn't be game five. It's just kind of the thing. Yeah, <laughs> someone got to die first, and then we got to get mad. All right, so pick up there from Yutsuke, and Anti gonna accompany that. Start stacking that damage up early. I like this pick on Duck Hunt. It's kind of, it's really similar to the FD pick they elected to go with. Just a lot of space. Okay. Thirty second mark has passed, and no one has lost the stock yet. So good stuff to the. Oh, hold up. All right, blue team. Uh, <laughs> All I was like, not like this. Good stuff to the red team, though. For. Uh, keeping it going, but the blue team definitely just delivering so much damage right here. Man, Only 25% on Mewtwo King. Wow, and the catch. Wow, that was a brilliant decision. And Anti with the follow-up on the up smash. What an... I feel like he snuck that one in there. I'm now. telling you. Okay. Trying right. to hit him with that cape. Not going to work out that time, but he'll settle for a grab here. nisa has got to be careful. Hey, honestly, he's in zero because a lot of time they've been going... Uh, for these punishes, and just Mewtwo King has just been in perfect position to really stifle that. Yeah, and, and like, that's just what you have as a, you know, with Cloud right there, man. Someone goes for a punish, and they mess it up, and your Cloud will limit. Like, they're about to catch an even harder punish in another limit. 
being delivered over there to uh, Zero. Managed to, everyone managed to get back right there, though. Yeah, that's just recovery mode for both those guys right there, just trying to survive. And they do, but still very much favoring the blue team here. Neither one of them have yet to drop a stock. There was a setup right there they were looking for, but the dog actually kind of saving uh, saving anti. You know, they went for the Diddy flip into the up smash after the jump, but dog pushed him up. Oh, get that my. oh my god! And that that was so, from beginning to end. That was brilliant. Oh, Esam oh. looking for the cloud right there to actually hit. Didn't, doesn't manage to get it. And that was the punish that I don't know if you guys, uh, if you watch Esam's video, he's talking about how. Uh, <laughs> Cloud's uh, up B twice is actually not that safe. If you have a fast move, you can just power shield and then uh, hit it. And so as you saw, he did it right there with the jab, but I mean, he didn't mount too much off there. Just saying, though. No. Tech for the boys, man. Knowledge drop. Anyway. There it is. Okay. All right, nice. So there, ECM, no hesitation right there. Had to get that stock off. They even want a uh, glimmer of hope at bringing this one back. And this is just, you know, this is that kind of that veteran savvy that he's being an anti-play with. Like I said, these guys have teamed quite a bit, or a couple times in Smash 4, have a pretty big win under their belt. I mean, just, I mean, when I say uh, they've been teaming for a while, I mean they've been teaming since Brawl. Yeah, like, yeah, they're of They're definitely course. a Brawl team just as well. Uh, so it, it's, you know, they, they've got to know each other by this point in time. I'm pretty sure they're training partners at some point in time when uh, Jason lived in New Jersey, but, you know, regardless. And, uh, you know, this team teamwork right now looking amazing. Absolutely. So on the under the gun right here, Esam and uh, <laughs> Zero hoping. Just hoping, hoping, hoping for something, something though, like. man. Jesus. He's down here. It's getting Yutsuki so much leeway. Okay. Yeah, everyone's getting scooped up right there. I mean, and it's 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 not too late for the uh, red team to get back here. It is not. Sam has definitely has to keep the stock for as long as possible. And situations like that, or situations where I'm like, hey man, let me, you can just have it. Like, right. That was a. It was a hard read that he was going, oh, oh my God. God. I think everybody got a piece of that. Everybody got a piece. He like, definitely went from like 108 to 155. He lucky that he, uh, Zero actually hit him. I think that's the only reason he's still alive. When you're looking like a Kit Kat, everybody got to break off piece. I'm saying. That's exactly what we just saw. And Anti going to drop this. Like, yes, he will. My goodness. ECM 163, 171. He's hoping. Okay. Trying to get back on stage right here. Managed to get back on stage indeed. He's, got, he's playing back, which is definitely what he has to do. I mean, if he goes in and loses his stock too early, it's not going to be fun. Back throw. Wow, huge combo right there from Anti. All right, that's the e He has made this stock last quite a while. Still managing to make himself effective here. Oh, there's the slide right there, catching that two frame. Long lasting hitbox on that. Uh, dash attack, good neutral layer though from uh, Esam. Max Rage at that too. Yep, he is riding this stock to the end right oh, now. No! Oh, but this could be trouble and it is. Pin point accuracy right there from Mutsuki on the up smash. And yeah, now man. zero knowing. Put himself in a really bad position too, going for that back air too. I mean, that move That's lasts forever. Clean right there. All right. Clean serve up. Okay. Nicely done. And hey, I've got to be feeling good about that one, especially dropping that first game. Yeah. Uh, Drop the first game. That last, those last two games definitely extra dominant right there. I mean, that was a beautiful gameplay coming in from Anti and Mewtwo King. So we have our first person of Grand Finals uh, set. We're going to go ahead and move over to the loser side. Yes. Where we're going into loser's quarters. And uh, I think the first match is probably going to be uh, Dyer, MVG Dyer and Spark versus Nick Riddle and Dak. Oh, and so that's, uh, uh, that's 